This is the second video on making denim jacket patterns. We're going to complete the front body with all the details. Hi, I'm Jin, and this channel is all about pattern making. If you love my videos, why don't you join my email list? Once a week, I send pattern making lessons right into your inbox. You can join my email list on my website, patternstudio101.com. We are making denim jacket patterns. Last week, we started from scratch, built the base frame, and completed the back body pattern. And we drafted the front neck and front armhole. If you haven't watched it yet, watch that video first, episode 112 and come back to this video. The link will be in the description box. This jacket front has quite details on it, so we'll complete the front drafting and then trace out all the necessary pieces today. Here we go. We completed the back drafting and drew the front armhole, shoulder, neck, and button closer. Let's find the apex. Half of the bust span from the center front, apex length from the high shoulder point. Once you find the apex, draw a straight line to the side seam. Mark 3 eighth of an inch on each side. Make a dart. Okay, two things about this dart. First, we won't keep this dart. We're going to have a front detail like this, but I want to have a bust dart first, and we'll show you how to move the dart to the design line. The second thing I want to mention is that I'm not going to make this jacket too much fitted like this. But still, I want to have a little bit of curve for the bust and waist. So I made three quarters of an inch dart, which is not that big, but just to make my front a little bit of shapes. If you're making an oversized jacket like this, you might not want to have any dart on the front. Okay, I made a three quarters of an inch dart. So lengthen the front length by three quarters of an inch. We made a handband one inch and three quarters of width at the back. So the same one inch and three quarters of an inch handband at the front. Take out three quarters of an inch at the side seam. Draw a side curve. This upper dart leg is longer than the other, right? So lengthen the shorter one so they are the same. Decide where you want to have a front yoke line. My example is two inches and a half from the center front neck point. Draw a yoke line. Three eighths of an inch from the yoke line. Make a dart with two inches and a half length. Again, two dart legs should be the same. This dart is for pinching out the armhole gaping. Let's find where the flap goes. Find a midpoint on yoke line without button closer and draw a straight line. I'm going to make a four inch width flap. So two inches on each side. Draw a flap and pocket. It's your design line. You can draw whatever you like. I'll show you how to trace out all the pieces for the pocket after drafting. So for now, let's just complete drafting. As you can see, there are two vertical lines on the pocket. So from this guideline, one inch on each side at the top and three eighths of an inch on each side at the bottom. Draw two seams. 
Remember we took out three quarters of an inch at the back waist dart. So to reduce the front waist dart, I'll take out three eighth of an inch out on these two seams. I'm going to keep this center piece and take out three eighth of an inch like this. Draw dart. The length would be about two inches below the apex. We're going to draw the lines later, so don't worry about them for now. Let's move this side dart to the waist here. To do that, I'm going to move the pivot point from the apex to this line. I'm going to delete the dart legs for now and move the pivot point to this line and draw new dart legs from the new pivot point and close the side dart. Measure the front waist and make the hand band the same length. Let's mark the button positions. On the center front line, the first button would be three quarters of an inch down from the center front neck. And the last button would be at the center of the handband. Then I would divide by four, so we have five buttons in total. Okay, let's trace them out. This is the front yoke. This is the center front panel. So through this seam to not have a V shape. This is the middle piece, and this is the front side panel. Again, through the seam to not have pointy. And you have a handband. For this pocket, you need a flap and pocket bag. If you want to make this pocket non-functional, then that's it. You can do top stitches like this with just a pocket bag. But if you want to make this pocket functional like this, then you need pocket facing. And you need to make a pocket opening on this pocket facing and the front pieces. So here's the pocket opening. We complete the back and front body. We're going to make a collar with a collar stand and sleeve patterns in the next videos. If you're a pattern maker, join my Facebook group Pattern Making Professionals. I post some pattern making tutorials there as well. The link is in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have an amazing week. See you next time.